Tonight, the two finalists for the mayor's race in Colorado Springs, Yemi Mobolade and Wayne Williams, are responding to a possible recount of ballots. Yeah, it's an option. The third place candidate, Sally Clark, is now considering. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live at the city administration building downtown to explain what he's learned about this possible recount. Scott. Well, guys, we spoke with Sally Clark earlier this afternoon, just a couple of hours after she delivered that letter here to the clerk's office in downtown Colorado Springs. Clark says that she's only considering a request for a ballot recount after Tuesday's election. Mainly it's because she says she has the legal right to do so. And now we want to roll tape and show you, give you a closer look at that letter that she delivered here today. Clark sent a letter again to the clerk's office here asking for the cost of a recount, the process involved, and the effective dates. There is a more than 1,500 vote difference between Clark and second place candidate for mayor Wayne Williams. Clark admits that a recount likely won't change the outcome, but could, and that Tuesday's election results have yet to be finalized. Williams says that he's surprised about a recount possibility. Uh, and I've run a number of elections that have had recounts. I've supervised or served as Secretary of State when other recounts took place. Uh, we just saw several recounts last fall, uh, for example, in the 3rd Congressional District. Uh, but again, the results don't change by more than a few votes, typically. Meanwhile, Mobilade's campaign released a statement this afternoon praising Clark for her campaign, but not specifically commenting on the possible recount. He says that he's focusing on the upcoming recall election and himself running a positive campaign. Now, Clark says that she has support from many of her constituents in considering a recount and, and that until she decides and Tuesday's election results are finalized, she's not endorsing either of the two finalists. We are live in downtown Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. Now more to come on that story. Scott, thanks. Tonight, 13 Investigates has learned the Fremont County District Attorney's Office plans to appeal a judge's order to dismiss a first-degree murder charge. The case dismissal stems from a judge's ruling to sanction District Attorney Linda Stanley's office for repeatedly failing to turn over evidence. Investigative reporter Quinn Ritzdorf is live in the newsroom to explain what he's learned about the appeal today. Quinn. In court this week, prosecutors from the Fremont County District Attorney's Office revealed their plans to appeal a reduced murder charge for Joseph Tippett. Tippett is accused of shooting his sleeping father in the back of the head twice. 